All right, so here we are. Got, make sure I don't drop my phone in that bucket of water. It's Rowan, black and white one, the brown markings. Cardamom's down there. Arty, farty, stinky boy. That is my buck. That's the daddy to these two. So this is the part where there's cows, where he kept his cows. And he used to let them come in here in the winter. This was where they stayed in this section here. Um, I've reclaimed this as garden on that side, an orchard on this side. So I've got cherry trees, apple trees, plum trees, pear trees. One of the pear trees died back. Um, it's got new stuff coming up from the ground. So I haven't dug it up because it's not the rootstock. It's what was planted on the rootstock. So I'm leaving it. That's a Rainier cherry in front of me, the one that's so little. That one. So the first year was pretty hard on them. That's when that first one really took a beating. Uh, the second tree in front of you is a plum tree that actually had a plum on it, but it was all wrinkled. In front of the apple trees, I've got some currant bushes, and then there's raspberry bushes along that fence line by the willow. Um, if you can see out there, there's uh, a bunch of willow trees coming up. So the power lines are on my side of the road, and so we've got 500 spruces coming this fall to plant. And you can't tell, but way down there on the end, I've got black spruce that I planted. And there were 25 of them there, so we'll have plenty, plenty of trees. Uh, we're going to run trees all the way down to the end of the pasture. And then we're going to bring them all the way up on this side of the pasture. And then I'm going to fence it off again and run a fence. There's a seasonal ditch right there, which I am going to leave open for the cows to get into. I think somehow figure that out how to do that but there's a road over there the culvert he's the neighbor tore the culvert i just got to put the culvert back in we got a new one and we'll put that back so you can drive over there but i'm gonna run pasture out that way and then this way for a cow a small cow pasture this doesn't make the best hay uh, the better hay is way out there so this section right here will become cow pasture for steers Hopefully we get in the spring. So I've got at least one person. I'll see if I can get a couple more. We'll go in and um, we each buy our own cow and we'll put them out here. And then we'll split the grain and the hay four ways. And they'll go in here in one half. And then with this half right here, I plan on keeping Artie over here. Once the cows are here, Artie can hang out over here with the boys. Uh, Rowan, because he's weather, will go back with. Probably go back with the girls. Cause he's safe to have with the girls, unless I find a home for him. And then Cardamon. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with little Card. Isn't he beautiful, though? That black line, brown spots. He's a stunning buck. Beautiful colors. Yep. Gorgeous. Crypt Orchid, though. Not a good thing. Anyway, so that's where we did yesterday, and we got that all up and running. And they've got an eaves trough up there to get the water. I've got to fix it on that side and then pull it down. And then he had a water containment system, so I can put a water, like this tote here, I could move it there once they've cleaned it, and that rain, when it rains, will run down and fill the, fill the tote. And it'll be less of a problem of having water. Are you coming to get more water? So we cut down birch trees today and already got to eat quite a bit of birch trees leaves. Yeah, you'll get, did you eat all your leaf? Did you eat it all, baby? You say hi, don't lick the phone. Okay, and I know that's not P.Y.'s face is what he's been drinking over here, slurping into. I'm not going to rub the top of your head. I need to cut those scourges, yeah. Be nice to your boy. They get along so well. He really does have a good temperament. He gets kind of bossy. A couple squirts in the face with some water from a, from a water bottle. And he remembers that he has to be nice. So my dad was saying, he thinks they'll have this all eaten down in three days. I don't know about three days. 
We'll see. So yesterday doesn't really count because they only got a little bit of time. So today's their first full day here. But then we gave them a bunch of birch trees because we've cut down birch trees. We cut down three birch trees and they got a whole bunch of branches with the leaves because that's what they like. They like to browse. So that's what I gave them. But they're in heaven right now. And eat to their heart's content. Just eat, 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 eat. So that's where the boys are. There's still bees in there. Like the trefoil. They're going to eat the top parts first. And then they'll come back and they'll eat the bottom parts. But they've got a couple little trails already worn through here where they're headed. I just wanted to make sure they knew where the water was. And they do. Artie really likes the picker bushes. That'd be nice. Well, what are you chewing on my shirt for, Rowan? What are you doing, baby boy? Oh, what's my baby doing? You're such a sweet goat. He is just the sweetest. Look how skinny he is. Him and his dad are skinny. They've been wormed. They've had their copper bulbous. They've had their shots. It's just that being so close to the girls with them going into heat, he tends to get all worked up and then he doesn't eat because he's too busy trying to mate. So I'm hoping that having him over here and further away from the girls, he'll put weight back on. And it won't be an issue because you can't give him grain to fatten them up because it causes urinary tracts problems. So gotta do it with a hay. You can hear the neighbor's cows. You hear the neighbor's cows? Do you hear the hay neighbor's cows? Did you hear the neighbor's cows? Did you hear that? Oh, really? Was that you or was that your son? No, you may not eat my shirt. No, you may not. But now that they know where the water is, they're good. Him and Rowan went in with him when Rowan was baby. And he was so good to him. So he's, he's a good buck. The other two bucks used to, the weathers I had, the Nigerians were mean to Artie when he was a baby. Artie remembered. When he got big, boy, he just tortured Baxter. But I got rid of them this summer. Because I don't need, I don't need two Nigerian dwarf weathers. But I've got, I got enough goats. I still got to get rid of some of these. It's just trying to figure out who I'm going to get rid of. There he's going. I'm going to leave that door open and go in and out whenever they want. Got a nice area in there. Plenty big for them. Because it's supposed to be for cows. But he's happy being in there now. Yep. I'll just get a different door. Put another door on over here. A goat sized door. And divide this in half. Because the cows aren't going to stay in this. The cows are going out there. In the winter they'll be in here. Actually, I don't know that I'll keep them out of the pasture in the winter. I don't know. I have to think about it. I don't know much about taking care of go uh, cows, so I'll have to look into it. Anyway, 